Everyone knows that balloons are colorful and fun, but what they don't realize is you can take a balloon and literally turn it into anything. I mean anything. My parents wanted me to have a normal, safe, professional career, but once I told them that I wanted to work with balloons, they were confused. My name is Adi, and I'm a professional balloon twister. A balloon artist is someone who can create art out of balloons. My name is Brian. I used to be a chef, and I started working with balloons on a whim. Right away, I knew it was my thing. My name is Katie. As a kid and as a teenager, I was always extroverted. I always was performing, and when balloons came into my life, it just became obvious what I was supposed to do. Love them. The name of our company is New Balloon Art. We're the company that goes out and does something that no one's ever seen before. Balloons, they're my passion. I just can't imagine my life without them. There's just something about balloons. There's some magic that just happens. Our latest event is for the Firefighters Museum. Ugh. The pressure's on to make this thing look real and real good. Our latest event is working for the Firefighters Museum in Hollywood. You know, what girl doesn't like a firefighter? I mean, they're usually tall and handsome and they can save you if you're on fire. Let's go inside, I'll show you the space. All right. This event is called a fiery fiesta. We wanted to take the party to the next level and I thought there's no better way to do that than balloon structures and this kind of art. It's just so different. So we're gonna walk into the dormitory which is where the people are gonna be eating for our party. We're in the dormitory, which is where the firefighters used to sleep when this was a working fire station. And this is where the party's gonna be happening. So we have to walk around the room and figure out exactly where and how we're gonna build. My biggest problem is I'm just not in love with this thing right there, but maybe we can incorporate it in some way in the design. Yeah, and even if we don't, it, it's obvious what it is, and I think it just kind of adds to the scenery. Yes. We figured out our layout. It's a small space, but we have to make it work. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm glad you guys were inspired. It was great seeing the space, but we've got a lot of work to do, so we're gonna start designing and twisting right away. Let the brainstorming begin. Firefighter. Okay. The first thing that comes to my mind is a firefighter climbing down a ladder with a fire victim over his shoulder. No. Oh. Oh, that's Dramatic. even better than fire. Well, I like the idea of making a firefighter, like making a hero, a heroic figure mm -hmm. that's really big. But what if we made it like actually interactive? Saving a cat out of the tree. Yeah. That's classic and cute, but what if he was actually, you know, engaged with some sort of fire? Like I want to make out? fire. Yeah. I want to make some fire. Katie makes a fire. You make the firefighter. And then what if I actually make a fire engine and then Dig. Fire engine hose comes from the fire engine to the firefighter. Water from the firefighter going onto the fire. Boom. Love yeah, it. That Maybe sounds great. Scene. Love it, love it. Dig it, dove it. Often what we do is work separately on separate projects that are gonna appear in different places in the event space. But on this one, we're actually all gonna come together and create one giant sculpture. We have this really cool idea of building a whole scene with a giant fire truck, a hose going from the fire truck to a firefighter who's spraying water on a fire that is climbing up a wall. Adi's gonna build the fire truck, Brian is gonna make the firefighter, and I'm gonna build the fire. This project, in a way, is a prime example for New Balloon Art, our company, because our individual projects are gonna be cool, but together, they're gonna be really amazing. For this build, we're going to need 3,000 balloons in over 12 different shapes and sizes. We're also going to need two inflators and two assistants because this is such a large job. The museum is only open one day a week, so we're gonna be building all of our pieces at the shop and bringing them all over there.
I'm amazed. Whenever I do something right with math, I'm shocked. It feels good. There's like order in the universe. The entire fire truck is gonna be built on an aluminum frame. Let's just put these through here and see what we got. The hard part about this is making something that's big and detailed in a short amount of time. So I have to figure out if I wanna use a big 646 balloon or a smaller B-body balloon for the body of the fire engine. And I have to think about how it will look and how much time I have. The thing is, D, if you get the body done quickly, then that's gonna give you more time to add the details that you want. I think that's an exceedingly good point. After Twisted Balloons for 20 years, I finally was weaning myself off neurotic perfectionism, and then I met you and you reamplified me in oh, that direction. That's one of the sweetest things anybody's ever said. Um, right now, what I'm creating is just a framing device for the fire. So basically, from here, I've got kind of just a loose grid that I can build flames off of. All of us really like being responsible for our own builds. That being said, Brian and I are going to have to work in tandem on this one because the fireman is going to be spraying water at the fire and it's gonna be interesting. It's like if you have a whole bunch of these. Stacked up. You know what I mean? With blacks like and grays, the smoke going in and out. Right. You'll get just a hint of it, not see the whole thing like, oh, it's supposed to be a flame. Eh. You know what I mean? If you just see like this poking out of the top here and there and stuff like that, right. that can really make for a oh. better looking flame. Very good, very good. We all have our own strengths and we can learn from each other as well. I think the structure would be better in black, unless you cover it with enough flames. You and I have discussed that, but I discussed that with multiple other people and I've taken everybody's vote and my vote and uh, the skeletal structure will be this color, okay? Katie's, um, you know, Katie's great. Right now I'm working on the torso of the firefighter. So to weave the firefighter's coat and pants, I'm gonna use a combination of 260s and 350s. This is a 260, it's two inches wide. This is a 350, it's three inches wide. And the 350s are gonna be the cross sections, while the 260s are gonna be the vertical sections. Hey, Brian, yeah. let's bring your guy here and put him next to the truck so we see a scale thing already. Let's put a towel Well, think of me, I'm, I'm, I'm basing him on my height, like shoulders are at my shoulders. His head will be where my head is. He's, he's a lot wider than he is tall. This is his head right here. Relax, I mean, his arms can come out like the front. It's not gonna appear as wide as it looks now. It's not finished yet. Okay. I mean, remember, firefighters wear these bulky things. He looks it's, like a gladiator more than a firefighter. Firefighters are not scrawny. They're big, they're muscular. Well, Trust me, when this is done, he's gonna look like a firefighter. We have to keep each other in check, and I don't think Brian's being realistic about the size of this firefighter at all. It's huge. I'm not seeing it. Long brush strokes to create the shape of fire. Too much red. Oh, my goodness. It's Monday evening, and we're two days away from the fiery fiesta party at the Los Angeles Fire Department Museum. For this project, we're building an interactive piece. Adia's off to a good start in the fire truck. Katie's making good progress with the fire, but both Katie and Adi thought my firefighter was too big in proportion to the fire truck. This is a uh, kind of tricky part. I have to make it so the arm looks like it's coming down and then coming out at the elbow, and it needs to look natural. But I also know that if I add the arms a certain way, that'll narrow it in. I know I can make this work. I love fishing line. They call it monofilament in the balloon world because you don't want your client to think that it's just fishing line, but um, I love it. I'm going to use fishing line to tie the balloons into sections for the wall of fire. I'm using this because it's unnoticeable and it doesn't harm the balloons in any way. I'm wrestling with the windows. I actually did it without even any math. 
<laughs> Here or somewhere. I just need to figure out exactly what's the best way to make a window right now. I feel like I'm in a good place with a fire engine, but ultimately it doesn't matter if all our pieces don't come together to create one gigantic scene. Just tell me, okay? if you want me to start over, I'll start over. I think it's gonna look okay, but whatever you want me to do, I'll do. I changed the arms on a firefighter to make them narrower and more in proportion with the fire truck. I think it works. It's just, look at that, it's gigantic. I can't see one firefighter who's six feet tall is gonna be that broad with those arms. Those aren't well, arms. There's just three pieces in this whole job scene that we're making, but everything has to be in sync or it doesn't make sense. Or if you want, I can actually base it off of you. Could I actually get into well, this thing? Well, it's kind of got some support. Well, since we're going to potentially get rid of it anyway. You can't, there, there are no sleeves, so your arms kind of got to stay at your side. Yeah, this is way, this is incredible Hulk. This is a firefighter. It should be sexy with broad shoulders. I'm not making a stripper firefighter. Oh. <laughs> well, let's, let's just. Well, what I'll do is I'll make it and I'll just come over to you. I'll, I'll actually measure it on you so it'll look like, a, you know, a real person. I mean, I was going for a little more beefed up. But okay. I'll base it off of you. Okay. I still think it could have worked, but we all work as a team. And if they both tell me it doesn't look right, I trust their judgment. And that means I gotta start all over again. Well, miraculously, I actually made a frame for a window. What I'm hoping to do is use this giant piece of latex and figure out a way to stretch this over. I just don't know how to keep it on like that. I have no idea if this is gonna work. And I rarely ever use rubber cement. See, that gets real ugly, though. I hope this works, because I still have a lot to do on the fire truck. And with Brian having to redo the firefighter, we're starting to cut it a little too close for comfort. You know, I'm not buying it. This is not good and just puts us behind schedule. We got to be teammates here. I really needed her to stop and help. I need your help right. with this. No, no, what do you don't need tell me, to do? all right, I'll just do it. listen to me. We only have one day left before the fiery fiesta party at the Los Angeles Fire Department Museum. Last night, we each made a lot of progress on the separate elements of our firefighter scene. Fireman's coming along, I redid the torso. It took me all night, but I figured out the windows. The latex wasn't working, so I went in a new direction. I'm trying to use wire to create a frame. I need to finish these windows, but I'm so tired, I keep popping balloons. And that's completely a product of working nonstop. Originally, I was thinking I would use all different shapes of balloons, but as I'm building it, I'm realizing there's something really unique and beautiful about using one type of balloon. I'm getting kind of excited because I'm oh, starting it looks to beautiful. yeah, I'm starting to understand the contours, even though I'm not twisting. I'm sculpting with color at this point. Yeah, you are. And lines. I was using nothing but fully inflated 260s, so it was just like using long brush strokes to create the shape of fire that flowed with the right colors. Unfortunately, I can only do these side panels, and I'm going to be left to do the top when I get there. Yeah. Does that mean you're free to work on the truck? No, be a D. Let me paint, please. OK, sorry. That looks incredible. Thank you. My only constructive criticism is that it looks like he's wearing football shoulder pads. This is not meant to be the top. That's meant to be the back. Uh, and that's what it yeah, is. I got it. But don't worry, I'll fix that. Look at that. Isn't that hot? This fire truck is huge, and it needs to be detailed, and everything needs to look right. This is one of the levers for the control panel. This is just a prototype but these are made with what I call balloon beads. See, not complicated at all. It's just a balloon stretched on a pole, but if you roll it backwards, 
it comes off as a bead like that. I make all these beads, and then I'll connect the beads together and make levers like this. That's the detail work that is um, so much fun to do right when the sun is coming up. Hey, Andy, how's your fire truck going? We're getting close to being done with the front. Then we got to just make the doors and the wheel well, the control panel. And how are you planning on doing that? I'd like that? to make a mirror and the sirens. Other than that, it's pretty much done. It's eight something in the morning. I was able to sleep for an hour. Good news is we're all alive. Looks like you slept out in the forest last night. You look cold. I'm usually tough through these all-nighters, but damn, I'll tell you. We have eight hours until the event, and we have everything built in the warehouse, but we have to break it down, get it out the door, load it in a truck, and drive it over to the event. Way to the back. Whatever pops is gonna pop, and we just gotta get there on time. It's 10.30, and we have a lot to do in a short amount of time. We're gonna be stumbling over each other to get this done on time. This is like the balloon version of Giant Slalom. We're going downhill as fast as possible, and we've got to do everything right. Do every one of these like this. Uh-huh. This, this piece was supposed to be taller. What the hell happened? How, how did this, this was working before? I noticed that the height of the fire truck is different in two areas. The sections aren't lining up, which is throwing off the whole look of the truck. The rail is too high now. And when we were at the warehouse, it all fit nice and snug. Disaster. I think I, I, think I need a brain transfusion. If this fire engine doesn't look good, it can make the whole party a serious downer. What if they don't like it? have a few hours left until the fiery fiesta party starts at the LA Fire Department Museum. We have a lot to do and my fire truck frame is at different heights. If I can't fix this truck, this whole project can fail because all the pieces have to come together to create one interactive scene. Dude, look how high this is. This is really weird. Okay, ready? I'm bending the poles back so the fire truck will be the same height in every section. Ugh. We can't have one part higher than the other or Ugh. the whole presentation will be off. Do you want to get the okay. tool? I did it. Well, that should definitely solve the problem. I am building this fire engine in a firefighter's museum with fire engines below and real firefighters walking around. The pressure's on to make this thing look real and real good. Hey, Brian, here's a control panel and I'm gonna put a bunch of levers and stuff on it. And then after that, there's the ladders. Everything has to look right, because if it doesn't, that's what the eye sees. I think I need a brain transfusion. Mm. Too much red. Oh, my pitiful wee baby. It looks too much like a teepee, currently. I need it to peak uh, up at the top with a good point. <laughs> Katie, you got five minutes, and I'm serious. We gotta be teammates here, okay. and you're, you're crossing into an area of minutia that no one's gonna see. Whereas in, look at this truck. Mm -hmm. It's so much bigger than right. small little details of a flame. I really needed her to stop and help. Okay. You have to listen to me right now, okay? I need your help right. with this. No, no, do don't tell me, do? all right. I'll Just listen to me. This is officially done, okay? You need to stop thinking about this now, okay? I have to look at the bigger picture and I have to help Adi because he needs me. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's only a few minutes left. The doors are about to open, and if I don't get this fire truck to look good, it can make this whole party a serious downer. Okay. 
The most nerve-wracking point at every event is right before you reveal the sculptures to the client. God knows, what if they don't like it? <laughs> that is incredible, guys. We have to look at the fireman up close. She has stubble. Look at that. This is beautiful, guys. Seriously. He's hot. <laughs> Even though I made him a little smaller, he was still hunky, so I'm pretty happy. He's fabulous. Oh, there's even steam. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. In the 50 years I've been with the fire department, I have never seen anything quite like making a fire truck out of balloons. When I first heard about that, I thought, that's impossible. So it's a very impressive thing. This job, I was really happy because the firefighters were so cool. And to really help them was one of the best feelings that I've ever really had. Pretty impressive uh, representation, in my opinion. This is probably the first time we've ever had a fire engine up here on the second floor. I kind of want to get in it. It's like you can see through the windows, and I want to be able to like drive away in a balloon. Yeah, it looks really cool. The whole thing was so much energy. It was really magical. It was one of the best nights I've had in a long time. Hey, Bill, wow. meet our balloon crew. Very good. Good morning. How are you, folks? Hello. Nice to see you. We went to go check out the museum. Hallie introduced us to Bill, who's a retired firefighter. As we go down the aisle here, this is a pretty large station, and it has six slide poles. And not many stations have more than two or three. This piece of uh, equipment on my left here is a 1905 water tower. Here you'll notice various things that we have in terms of uh, the history of uh, fire protection. You know what's amazing about seeing all this technology is that any fool can start a destructive fire that wrecks havoc. And all this technology and art and science over the years of figuring out how to solve that problem is incredible. It is, it really is incredible. And we've come a long way in this business. There's no two ways about it. This museum is amazing. It's so wonderful to see how many advances there's been in firefighting over the years. Is this a siren? It is. Does it still work? It does. Uh, do you want to try it? Yeah, man. Go ahead. But Brian is like a kid. He wants to start cranking the sirens and making loud sounds. It's pretty funny. That siren was awesome. I want to get one for the shop. Maybe we can use it to uh, signal lunchtime or something. Well, this is an incredible museum, but the party can't be happening down here. It's not. It's upstairs in the dormitory, so let's show you the real space. We are in a museum, so we can't pretend we're not. But the problem is, it's going to basically block off this whole area. Does anyone need to walk back here? I was just going to ask you that. Did you want people to see 365 degrees around your That's sculpture? That's an excellent question. And I think what we could do is probably move these chairs. Yes, definitely. And then they'll be able to squeeze by and walk around and see the entire design. to be right here. 
I feel like we're making good progress. My goal today is to get the majority of the balloons up on the frame and then deal with the tires and the windows. Adi, yeah. just need your approval here. OK, find the bottom there. There we go. Do I need to go up one more, or? I think if we do two more, and then we're covered. OK. My sculpture is relatively delicate because actually none of it is twisted. It's all tied together and then tied together with fishing line. This fire's falling apart now. I hate this. We have to bring everything over and I'm a little nervous that my fire is gonna get popped. Now I'm gonna have a heart attack. Something kind of funky going on right there. Oh, okay, and I bet you I could fix it really quick. What could I do super quick? Katie, there's a million things you can fix super quick, okay? <laughs> Nobody is gonna notice what you're looking at right now. Okay, well, if I still have two minutes, then no, I can No, Katie, fix it. you don't. And don't look at me that way, I'm serious. I need your help. 